welcome back to another video so i have not been vlogging lately i have just been so occupied so i thought it would be a perfect time to do a part two of my like january 2022 travel if you saw my video two weeks ago you would have seen that i did a philippines vlog but today's footage is actually from bali basically my parents and i flew straight from the philippines um to bali and we met my sister alice there and we just had like a mini four day holiday. This vlog is actually a foodie vlog. So if you love food, this is the video for you. It was all about just finding good food and good coffee and just cafe hopping in Seminyak specifically. I was looking at the footage and I was getting hungry. So I'm gonna have to go get food after this. But yeah, if you're here, you might as well just grab a snack or something because there's lots of food in this vlog. We stayed in Seminyak and um, I actually didn't film a villa tour, which is so unlike me. If I was to vlog now, I definitely would have done the full tour. My recommendation for Bali in general is to do the five star, go all out. Bali is definitely a value for your money. It's awesome. Anyways, I'm gonna get into the vlog day one. Welcome to this video. So today, I'm currently in Bali. First of all, the way I struggled to vlog back then. Oh my gosh, it's so awkward. Anyways, we started off at Sisterfields Cafe, which is like a modern Australian cafe. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Yes, we'll order coffee before we go in. Um, can I get a soy ice latte? Soy ice latte? Yes. Can I just get a regular ice latte? We are at the first cafe in Bali, and we're at Sisterfields Cafe. Woo! This was by far my favorite coffee spot compared to all the places that we went to on this trip. And throughout the trip, we actually did like kind of a rating game, me and my sister, we rated all the coffees. I think we're a bit of, like my sister has turned me into a coffee sting. Very particular with coffee. Rate it out of 10. My dad, on the other hand, is not a coffee connoisseur, so just ignore him. And then we just had some breakfast. It was very much, you know, your typical delicious breakfast. I got the kale salad. Baramundi. <laughs> dad, big breakfast. Big breakfast. I got the Italian salad. Spot number two for lunch, we went to Motel Mixicola. If you've been to Bali before, I'm sure this is like a highly recommended place. I've been to Bali like four or five times now. And even when I stayed in like another part of Bali, I still made it a point to travel to Seminyak and visit Motel Mexicola. So it's like kind of one of those spots. But Motel Mexicola is obviously Mexican cuisine. So tapas, tacos. Where are we now? We are at Motel Mexicola. It's super colorful and funky. It has old school 60s vibes, just with the decor and everything. And every spot in the restaurant, it's a fairly large restaurant, but every spot you go to, every corner is super Instagrammable. Make that face. <laughs> I got the lollipop flavor. What did you get? Uh, maracas, which is like a passion fruit kind of juice. Cinnamon too. And cinnamon. I got that one. Thank you. Which one is this You got three? Yeah. I'm hungry. Rate it out of ten. Ten. <laughs> we then went for a walk, which is generally what you do in Bali. Everything is super close. So yeah, you kind of just go for a stroll and just wing it. But we were on the hunt for more coffee and we found this spot called Expo. It's actually like an art space slash coffee space. Caramel um, art latte. So this place is like an art and coffee place, which is amazing. That's like Alice's favorite thing is art and coffee. This is your shop. It's true. We're gonna call this Cam. Old school. There was artwork all over the walls and they had a lot of vintage things like this Nintendo um, kind of setup and then they also had record players. It was very cool. But yeah, we stopped there to try the coffee, of course. Can I just grab a small ice latte? Yeah, take away. 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 Oh, you don't need sugar in coffee. No, exactly. There's so much sugar. Oh. I feel like the coffee would be amazing had there been no sugar. That gets a six. No. Bali tip. Say no sugar next time. Mummy, you can have it. 
you like sugar? Okay. And then after we went and stopped by some markets. Pretty skies. Oh, I love these dresses. Later on in the night, we stopped by a place called the library and they had um, a lot of juices there. So we are at the, the library. library. Can I get the orange, pineapple, <laughs> ginger? <laughs> Alice and I actually got up early to explore some more cafes. We are going to visit two cafes. Bye, Karen. Oh, it's hot. Take me here. <laughs> We're in prison. <laughs> Hi, door. The first spot was Coffee Cartel. They're particularly known for like their coffee roasting. It was a very cute cafe. Ooh, metal floor. The next cafe that we explored was Kind. This one is again one of those cafes that are just super popular in Bali. We are now walking to Kind. It's like the famous Instagram spot that everyone goes to. It's like a five minute walk from Coffee Cartel and we're gonna eat some more breakfast. And it is actually voted the 39th best vegan restaurant in the world. But yes, when we went there, we actually thought we were in the wrong place because the storefront is like a small restaurant, serves like plant-based ice cream there. But little did we know there's a full backyard restaurant that we just completely missed. So we ended up going back there. Can we go to the back? Again, this spot was very Instagrammable and what I loved most about it was just like the inspirational writing that they had on the wall. We had like a salmon bread dish, but of course it was plant-based, so it wasn't actually salmon, but it tasted like salmon. I'm personally not adept to like plant-based foods, but I could tell that this was very tasty, being that it was plant-based. So yeah, I highly recommend Kind. And then for lunch, we went to Potato Head. This is like a popular sunset beach club slash bar. We're now in Potato Head, which yeah. we've both been to already. <laughs> How are you, sir? I'm fine, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Look at all the chinelas. Come. This has been around for ages. I think every time I've gone to Bali, I always end up here. But this place has an infinity pool right on the beach, a bunch of day beds that you can like rent out and restaurants all around it. There are also so many other beach clubs in Bali. There's like Finn's Beach Club and there's Omnia, which I really would love to go to one day. Um, and we just had some drinks and we had some delicious wood oven pizza. The drink I had was actually pretty cool. I think it was like a volcanic cocktail drink. For dinner, we decided to get some good Asian cuisine. My Filipino dad can't go like a day without rice and we were just eating like a lot of cafe food and just different types of food, but my dad needed rice. We are now going to Ginger Moon. What is Ginger Moon? An Asian cuisine. <laughs> <laughs> An Asian cuisine. Let's go, mama. Come on. Come on. Are you ready? Let's go. No, no, no. How? Let's go. Let's go. 
So we went to Ginger Moon. It's a modern Asian fusion restaurant and it featured the island's like best ingredients and foods. I personally wasn't expecting this restaurant to be as good as it was, but it was delicious. We had spring rolls, salt and pepper squid, ribs, dumplings, skewers. So delicious. I'm so hungry right now. I need to eat. Oh my gosh, I'm hungry. I rate this a 10. Out of what? <laughs> Really fast. Mummy, what do you rate it? Ten. Ten. Dad, what do you rate it? Ten. Alice, what do you rate it? Nine. <laughs> Day three was our final and like last full day in Bali. So it is our final and last day in Bali. Um, but we're heading for breakfast now. I think we're going to Cafe Organic. They're actually a health conscious cafe. So of course we had to try one of the ginger shots. That ginger shot is strong. It smells strong. We <laughs> got two ginger shots. I'm gonna have this just in case. Are we drinking all of it? organic um, Alice loved the coffee there she said it was a 10 out of 10 we then went for a walk again and we found ourselves this cutest coffee shop um, it was really really small it's on this super busy street we could have missed it but yeah when you walk in it's super tiny but I loved it this place was called revolve and oh my gosh I really like the coffee there so I'm really glad we found it we literally just found that on the corner that's good that's good that's a That's an eight. It's an eight for me. What about you? Um, well, I can't really compare it to the other ones because everything else I've got soy milk, but I think for just a cold brew, it's like a solid 8.5. Nice. It is our last night in Bali, and so we are going to La Favela. La Favela, which is <laughs> <It's> so <laughs> Aussie. La Favela, <laughs> which is a popular place. Dad wants steak, so it's a good place that sells good steak. So we're Yay. gonna go eat steak for our last night. Our last dinner was unfortunately not the best like way to end on. We actually wanted to go to La Favela, which is a fancy restaurant which kind of turns into like a club later. From what we could see online, it looks really cool. It has like a jungle vibe and it's heavily inspired by Rio in Brazil. It's got dim lighting, live music and just cozy, intimate vibes. But yeah, we didn't get let in because my dad was too casual. Um, so yeah, I think they're pretty strict. So that place is really strict. Um, you can't wear singlets. My dad's wearing a singlet. And you can't have cameras in there. So yeah, we're gonna find somewhere else to go. So we ended up coming to Salazar. And that was all for our foodie trip in Seminyak, Bali. I believe the borders are open now. I think there's still some strict quarantine rules, but all these restaurants that I mentioned, they're still on and popping, which is really good to hear um, after like the whole COVID pandemic. Based on all of those places that we went to, the best coffee was Sisterfields, which was the first place we went for breakfast. Um, and then my favorite dinner spot was Ginger Moon. But I know for a fact, there's like a million places in Bali that we haven't tried. We only just touched like the tip of the iceberg. There's so many cool places in Bali. Maybe one day I get to go back. Also, don't I look really, really, I look so young in those videos. It's weird to see how much I've changed in like two years. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. I'll be sure to get back on the vlogs as soon as possible. But yes, anyways, I'll see you in the next video.